understanding ratios and accounting information to make decisions. This video is going to look at how you can use accounting ratios to make decisions from a set of data that you may be presented with. It will also show you how you can use each ratio and what the output of each ratio actually means. This will be useful if you're studying a level 2 BTEC course or GCSE business. In this video we're going to look at the topic of liquidity ratios. Now liquidity ratios show the ability of an organisation to meet its obligations or expenses. Now one of the ratios we can use is something called the current ratio. The current ratio is calculated by doing your current assets. So these are items that you own that you can turn into cash within a year divided by your current liabilities. So objects or items that you owe, typically debts, that you have to pay within a year. That's what the word current means when we talk about financial terms. Now this ratio compares your current assets to your current liabilities. It's a useful ratio because it shows your liquidity position. We'll look in more detail using an example later. The second liquidity ratio we can use is something called the liquid capital ratio. Now just like the current ratio, it is still calculated by using your current assets and liabilities. However, we now add in the term inventory, which is a technical term for the word stock. So actually this ratio is current assets minus your inventory divided by your current liabilities. Now what that is doing is calculating how able you are to meet your current obligations without actually selling your stock. And that's because in business, if you want to sell your stock quickly to turn it into cash, you may need to discount it. If you have to discount your stock or your inventory, that means you don't get the full value back for it. So some accountants like to use a liquid capital ratio because this takes into account the best current assets, cash, and debtors, people who owe you money. But it doesn't count your stock because it assumes that until this is sold, it's not being turned into cash. So here you have an example where I've given you the current assets of £3,000, the current liabilities of £1,000, and the inventory or stock of £1,500. So if we're going to calculate the current ratio, we do current assets divided by current liabilities. So that will be £3,000 divided by £1,000, which gives a ratio of 3 to 1. So that means that for every £3 in current assets that the business has, it has £1 in current liabilities or debts that it has to pay. That is a really strong position. Anything above 2 to 1 is seen as a really strong performance for an organisation. Now the other ratio that we can use to calculate liquidity is the liquid capital ratio. Now as you can see on the table there, we have the same data, only this time we're going to do current assets minus our inventory first and then divide that by our current liabilities. The reason we do this is because we're now discounting the stock as part of our current assets. And as you can see, that gives us the answer of 1.5 to 1. So we have 1.5 in current assets or £1.50 in current assets to every £1 in current liabilities that we owe out in the organisation. This is an exceptionally strong position. Accountants will accept that if this figure went to 0 0.75, then it's still fairly strong for an organisation. So anything from 0 0.75 upwards to the 1 is seen as okay. And that's because, remember, it's not counting your stock or inventory. So what does it actually mean? Well, in our example, we have a current ratio of 3 to 1, and we have a liquid capital ratio of 1.5 to 1. So that shows the current assets to the current liabilities. And in both ratios, it's a positive. The business has got more current assets than current liabilities. So if the business was to fail and it was to shut down tomorrow, it could pay off all of its current liabilities and still have some money left over. If you think about the current ratio example, if that was to happen, that for every £3 it has in current assets, it has £1 in current liabilities. That means there's £2 left over each time to give to the owner in the form of a profit. Of course, because the ratio, as you can see for the liquid capital ratio, is 1.5 to 1, that's an even stronger position because that doesn't include any form of stock. 